today's topic is talking about graphing circles and how we can use completing the square to uh, find the center of a circle and the radius of a circle. So the standard form of a circle with the center at zero comma zero is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And for a circle with a center at h comma k, that one is going to be x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So you'll notice that it's the opposite of what you would see. So h, but we have negative h. k, and we have negative k. So the opposite of what you see. Now that r squared, that is the radius squared. You know, r is the radius of the circle, not r squared. So that means whatever these equations equal, we have to take the square root in order to find the radius. So let's go down here and just graph some circles real quick. Uh, and that will kind of help us know where we're going. So this circle here, we have x squared plus y squared equals nine squared. Or sorry, x squared plus y squared equals nine. We need to take the square root of nine, which is three and that's the radius. Our center is going to be at zero comma zero because we don't have any parentheses to say x minus or plus h or y minus or plus k. So to graph this, we're going to put our um, center at zero, zero, and then we're going to go three up because that's the radius, three to the right, three down, and three to the left. A radius, remember, is the distance from the center of a circle to the edge. And then we're going to do our best to make a circle. And that is good enough. So now let's look at example number two. Something you may notice is that it says 9y squared plus 9x squared equals 36 which is not what we have up here. We have x squared plus y squared. So let's divide everything by nine. And when we do that, I'm gonna rearrange this to put x first. We'll get x squared plus y squared equals four. And then the radius is a square root of four, which is two. And our center is at zero, zero. So here we go, zero, zero. And with the radius of two from the center, we're going to go up to, we're going to go right to, down to, left to. And then this would be our circle. This one has a center that is not at zero, zero. So let's do the radius first. The radius is the square root of 16 or four. The center is negative one comma positive two. It is the opposite of what you would see. So negative one comma two is right here. And then our radius is four. So from the center, I'm going to count four in every direction. And that's what this circle will look like. So I want you to pause the video and try this problem for me. All right, so here is your answer along with the graph. Now down here, write an equation of a circle with a center at one comma negative two. So it's H and K and a radius of 12 and that is R. So we're going to have x minus 1 squared plus y minus k, but k is negative 2, so it's actually going to be plus 2 squared equals 12 squared because we, we're going to be equal to the radius squared. So it's going to give us x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 144. And that would be the equation of our circle.
And we did this in geometry last year. So this should sound um, a bit familiar. On the next page, this is where things get a little bit difficult because you see we don't have the parentheses there. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do uh, completing the square. Because remember, when we complete the square, we have like x plus a number squared, which is what we need for our equation of a circle. You'll notice, though, that this has y in it as well. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to complete the square for x and complete the square for y separately. So the first thing I'm going to do is rearrange this problem. I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides. And I'm also going to rearrange so that my x's are together and my y's are together. So x squared minus 10x plus y squared minus 6y equals negative 18. So now, and I, I use different colors on purpose. I'm going to complete the square with the blue, with the x's first. And I'm going to ignore the y part right now. So if I look at just the blue part, just the x's, I'm going to be taking my b value, negative 10 over 2 equals negative 5 squared. And that's going to equal 25. So I'm going to add 25 to both sides. And where I'm going to put this, I'm going to put it with the x's because that's what I completed the square with. Plus y squared minus 6y equals negative 18 plus 25. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the y. My b value for y is negative 6, so negative 6 over 2 squared is negative 3 squared. Negative 3 squared, or 9. So I'm going to add 9 to both sides. x squared minus 10x plus 25 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9 equals negative 18 plus 25 plus 9. Now, yes, I could have combined all of that, but I wanted you guys to see all of the parts. Now, I could complete the square or factor just that, and that's my perfect square trinomial is going to be x minus 5 squared. Remember, we got that minus 5 up here. And then for the y. It's going to be y plus, sorry, y minus 3 squared. You know, factoring this perfect square trinomial. And this is going to equal negative 18 plus 25. Uh, negative 18 plus 25 plus 9. And that gives us 16. So now this looks just like what the previous examples did. Our equation is going to be x minus 5 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 16. Your center is going to be at positive 5 comma positive 3. And your radius is going to be the square root of 16 or 4. All right, now let's look at this one over here. Again, I'm going to add 24 to both sides, but I'm also going to reorganize my variables so that the y's are together and the x's are together. When we have um, this x, uh, x squared minus 6x, when we complete the square for that, oops, When we complete the square for that, negative 6 over 2 squared equals negative 3 squared, or 9. It's the exact same we had in the other problem. Um, and actually, while we're here, I'll do it for y as well. So h over 2 squared 
equals 4 squared or 16. So now in the light blue, I'm going to do x squared minus 6x plus 9. And in the brown, I have y squared plus 8y plus 16. And this is going to equal the 24 that's already there, plus the 9 from the light blue, plus a 16 from the brown. So I added the same thing to both sides. Now I'm going to factor that. You know, we had the minus 3 up there, so that's going to be x minus 3 squared. Plus, we have positive 4, y plus 4 squared equals, it, when we add 24 plus 9 plus 16, uh, we are going to get 49. So then our equation is going to be x minus 3 squared plus y plus 4 squared equals 49. Our center is going to be at 3 comma negative 4, and our radius is the square root of 49 or 7. So I want you guys to try this one, and we will look at it in class tomorrow and see what um, what questions there have, uh, what questions you have. So make sure you give it a try. Uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe.